Hello, everybody. We are here live at the doll shop. It's been a great day. Thank you to everybody who commented on my check-in this morning. So here is something very exciting. Grace's personal hairstylist. Yes, she has a personal hairstylist. Chad is in the house. And we are going to be filming some hairstyling tutorials today. Today we are going to be filming the wonderful ponytail swirl. Chad, would you call that a swirl hairdo? Okay, the ponytail swirl, we're going to be filming that today. And then at a different date, we are going to film the super elaborate, curly, wonderful, uh, formal updo. So hello everybody that's tuning in. So excited to see you. So what I'm doing right now is we're gonna go and we're gonna look at the hairstyles so that you can see what we're gonna do. You're gonna look at the dolls so you can see what we're gonna do. And then stay close because after this video, in the next video, we will be doing a live styling tutorial. And that will be about 30 to 40 minutes after this video. So basically just stick around. So what we're going to do right now is go look at the Grace dolls and see how the boys have set them up. I'm working with three men here at the shop and they're all just doing such a great job today. So here we go. I'm going to see what they did and how they set them up. Hi everybody. If you guys have a Grace doll, let me know. I love Grace. We are going to be releasing a couple more graces here, probably next week, once everybody that ordered one safely gets their grace. And then I have more stuff in the works with Robert Tonner. So if you have ordered a grace, do not worry, because I have more outfits and dolls coming for her. She is going to be sending out letters and blogs you will be receiving notes from Grace very soon. We have so many incredible plans for Grace. So I am so excited. Now, these guys here did such a good job styling our Graces. I'm gonna turn the camera around and you guys can see what they did. Bam, oh, how sweet. So the first thing I wanna point out is this outfit right here that I said fit Grace. It does not fit Grace. <laughs> we have jerry-rigged it so it does fit Grace, but most of it was all way too small, but we made it fit. So a lot of times, uh, if you guys are looking on the aftermarket or looking at other dealers for Grace outfits, make sure that the outfit fits the RTB 101 body, which is the Ryan Roche doll and the Rain doll. It's the newest body that Tonner came out with. And it's its very different from all his other bodies. And so just make sure that it fits. So this outfit I bought from Diane and uh, from Diane at Diane's doll shop. And I love it, except you see how we, we need to get a, 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 a different safety pin for her. But we kind of rigged it up so it fits her, but it doesn't really fit. But I don't care because I just love it. And I think she looks so beautiful and chic. So it's all good. And I really love this high collar. And I wish that outfit was mine. So look at the makeup. Oh my gosh. She looks so good. One of the things I am most proud of about our wonderful Grace is her gorgeous makeup, her beautiful eyebrows, the coral lips, the beautifully sculpted nose, the gorgeous eyes. If you guys ever, a lot of you have said that she looks like me and that is just such a high compliment. Thank you so much. But look at the eyes. They are green and I have brown eyes. This doll was not supposed to be me. She is, but she was, I did the makeup with Robert and I had a lot to do with the styling and the creation and her look and her makeup. So like I have said in an earlier video, when you guys really love something and you're really invested, sometimes you start to look like each other. So do you know how like when people have been together a long time, they start to look like each other? <laughs> uh, and I love that. And so you know what I mean? So the makeup uh, is gorgeous. It's how 
It's how kind of I do my makeup, which we sh we can do a makeup tutorial someday. I think that would be really fun. But um, she's not me. Her muse is Kate Middleton, but she is her own character. She is her own person. And uh, it is such a compliment that you guys said she looks like me. So uh, will the next dolls have their ears pierced? No, Robert Tonner dolls do not have their ears pierced, but you can pierce them yourself by just getting a... Um, a back of an earring or something that's like earring size really hot and then just sticking it right in the ear and piercing it yourself so uh, none of his dolls to my knowledge correct me if I'm wrong have pierced ears but you can pierce the ears yourself a lot of people do that so the opera gown right here is just fantastic now look at this hairdo where is her personal stylist Chad he must be getting ready for our uh, for our presentation later. But the opera gown I think is wonderful. One of the things that we are missing is the, she, I th does she need a necklace? I don't know. What do you guys think? Does she need a necklace? Jeffrey Cook, you're tuning in. Does she need a necklace? The thing about it is when I, like, when I am wearing something that is very sparkly or very not loud, but you know what I mean? Like sparkly and, and bold. I, I really tone down my jewelry. So I will sometimes wear pearls or some kind of very simple necklace. Hi, Chad. Hello. You guys, this is... This is Grace's hairstylist. This is Chad. I heard my name. Yeah. I had so to come see what you guys are doing. Well, we're looking at your beautiful hairstyles. Let's turn it around so they can see what we're looking at. Well, that's pretty good considering I've done them maybe once or twice, but... You've done them once or twice, but now you're a professional I stylist. I guess I'm a professional now. <laughs> you are. <laughs> um, when I saw this hairdo, I said, you are now her professional stylist. I love it. So, Chad, what? You're telling me you've only done this hairdo a few times in your life? That's actually the second time I've done that one. The one that's more of the traditional on the left, Barbie, uh, up, swirl, do whatever you want to do. Pony yes. Uh, is, is more the easier one that I'll show you guys a little later. This one we started out, uh, back to the dramatic one over here, we started out with, you know, we actually put a little sterling ring underneath her. Look at this, guys. This was in the jewelry case here at the shop. This is a man's sterling ring, but he used it as the base of our doll. So what you can do is use a ring that's in your own collection, right? That's right. Totally. And what I plan on doing after we get through with this, we can maybe convert this hairstyle even to another one and show the ring off more and make it more flowing in the back. Um, there's so many things we can do with her hair. It just came out so well. There are so many things we can do with her hair. Can I get a hell yes? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. She's because you guys, good. it's going to be so much fun. All of the different hairstyles we are going to do. Chad, you are so talented. Before Chad became Grace's hairstylist, he was and still is our merchandiser. So he makes our cases look like a dream. And now he is making her hair look like... <laughs> A dream, it, Chad, it looks like a dream. So while, you. while I have you, you here, I want your uh, opinion because I asked a lot of our viewers what they thought as well. And since she is wearing a gown that is sparkly, does she need jewelry? She does. Um, and you know, a lot of these costumes actually came with jewelry, but like you said, I don't know that the doll's ears are pierced. It's something you'll have to decide yourself if you're willing to uh, put earrings on her. Yes. Or, uh, but uh, this costume on the left did come with earrings. But uh, and we can pierce your ears. All right. we have to do is get something right. that we could even we could even do that today. We just get um, some earrings that have a metal backing, very very hot, and then just stick it in right. and, and pierce them. That's right. So we can do that. But I think that she could either use. I think she could use a necklace. I really she do. Does. She and some, maybe a bracelet. She needs some extras. I I was thinking the same thing. It's almost like she's looking in the mirror, just kind of getting dressed and getting ready to go. But yeah, she definitely could use some really fabulous crystals around her neck or uh, some some bracelets. I mean, just you can go crazy. Uh, we even added this little heart to this one today, and I think it added a lot to it. Uh, I love the costume that Linda did, uh, but I just added that for just a little extra shine and glitter. I mean, you can do so many things. I mean, it's, it's fun. 
so many things. Mm -hmm. Isn't it always nice to just add a little extra shine, just a little something? Most definitely. You don't Most need to definitely. do a lot, but you can do a little something. Now, Chad, as a Barbie collector and somebody that has accessorized like crazy, let's, for instance, let's let's um, toodle on over to this wonderful, um, what the heck is her name? Build Lily. Build Lily. <laughs> <laughs> this is... What did that, you do to her? Well, uh, she uh, is the doll that came out, I believe, in 1955 that Barbie was actually kind of modeled after uh, in 1959. Uh, this doll, whenever you told me you had one, is a very rare doll because they were only like two and a half ounces. She's like hollow plastic, so they're very rare and hard to find now. But she had just kind of a hair that looked like she had just kind of woken up. So we went back again to the traditional Barbie uh tie it up and kind of give it a little boofy uh, do and a little curl on the end. Uh, we gave her a different costume, even though she has her original costume, but uh, we just wanted her to look spicy and ready to go. She so. looks spicy and ready to go. <laughs> we need to, she's tied into that stand right here that's not damaged, but right. she looks incredible. You did right. an, an, an exceptional job redoing her. Um, right. And this is Chad's signature hairstyle which we have, he has added and done for Grace. So here it is on her hair, which is a lot thicker, but it's it's just gorgeous on both dolls. And Chad, we are so excited because this hairstyle, Chad's signature swirl, we're gonna, we're gonna do today. We're yes. Gonna do we're so gonna how do long it. is it gonna take for us to get set up? Um, I'm gonna prep the doll because I'm just taking my doll out. I'm gonna do it on my doll. And I'm just taking her out of the box. It'll take about 30 minutes to get my tools ready, and then we can do it. Awesome. And so how long Looking is it? What, what, do our, what do our viewers need for this hairstyling workshop? Um, I can go over a couple of those things whenever we get back there later. Uh, but uh, a large needle eye or a large eye needle, you know, that's not sharp on the end. It's more mm -hmm. of a dull, rounded thing so that you can actually get a, her hair around Mm -hmm. this ponytail and then fish it up back through yes and then it's a brush lot of it hair. out with the rest and then so it's it's easy we will use a little girl rubber band to hold it in place at first uh we'll also find whatever kind of tie we want i just grabbed this one it doesn't really match but i just grabbed that one and made a tie so that love it I held it up and actually held it to the back of her head in place and makes it look just a little more appropriate and a little higher you know just a little Right. Buffon. Oh, so I speak. love it. But it does come out really nice. It does easy. come out so nice. And it is easy. It takes a, a little, you know, you'll do it once or twice and then you'll think, no, I can do this. It's, it, it's easy. It's, it's, it's easy. easy. So when you say it's easy, you mean it is. It's not it is. easy for, uh, you know, you are a professional stylist, but right. <laughs> somebody that's watching this and has never done it before will be able to do it, right? Yes. Agreed? Yes. Okay. If I you, am excited. If, if you like dolls and you like doing this stuff, you can do it. Definitely. I am so Definitely. excited. Okay, if you guys are watching this and you do not have a Grace and you would like to get on the waiting list for Grace, put Grace in the comments. And all you have to do is put, well, you got one. I'm oh, do you want another more. one? Oh, you're getting two more? I'm getting uh -oh. the other color dolls. Oh, yes. Oh, the, uh, so the we, blonde and the red. We, we, one of each. we have blonde and red coming too. So <laughs> we got a lot of fun <laughs> stuff happening. Um, so, but if, if you would like um, one of the dolls from the first series, which you have one, uh, in, in the print dress, I have 20 of those and I will be releasing them. So um, get on the wait list. Let me know if you do not have one and you'd like to have one. But yes, we have red hair, blonde hair. Do you have a preference on hair color? Um, not really. Um, I think the shine of it is more impressive to me than the color, but I do like the very varied colors as well. Mm -hmm. Just like Barbie. I mean, she was blonde and then she was, well, she came out in blonde and black and Hair. And They've then, been dead rainbow. And then, yeah, eventually she, yeah, went to Auburn and Titian and so many colors. So the colors are fun too, so. I think the colors are really fun. Mm -hmm. I've changed my hair a lot in my life and I really <laughs> grappled, <laughs> I really grappled with the decision White. of, yeah, well, you've got fabulous hair, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. But I grappled with the decision of changing her hair color because I thought, does that change the doll and this and that? And I don't think so. I think it's just fun. It is. It is so much fun. So. It is so much fun. So if you guys are just tuning in, we are here with Grace's personal stylist, Chad, and he is going to be showing us how to do this wonderful swirl ponytail hairdo, which he does on his Barbies. You guys, this is such an incredible opportunity. Stay 
with us. Stay close because we are going to be live in about 30 to 35 minutes to show you guys how to do this. Uh, Chad is going to do it on his personal Grace doll. And then next time we are going to show this hairdo, which I had a couple people say they had this as their hairdo at their wedding. Wow, I love it. Good. Yeah. That's no, great. I think this is fabulous. It's very elegant for sure. It is so elegant. And then Grace comes with this wonderful, thick, full head of hair that you, excuse me, you guys can comb and style and have fun with. And don't even feel, don't even feel afraid to do that. So you guys did a good job with this. Thank you so much. And you We're did a proud. wonderful job with our build Lily right here. She, no one gave side eye quite like Build Lily. Barbie sort of, Barbie does, right. but she nailed it. She She's given some fierce Tyra eyes right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. right. She is. She is. Okay, guys, so stay close because we are going to be back for hair styling swirl ponytail 101 i'm excited are you excited I'm let excited. us know if you're excited okay <laughs> chat with you soon guys bye Thanks. bye bye